ましてワカム How complete is yoga in providing us with a long-term and sustainable health and wellness practice? Is it enough to keep us healthy, you know, physically, mentally sound, spiritually happy and content, especially amidst the many challenges of the modern life? Yes, it is complete, even more than enough. Speaking firsthand, fitness has been my life. I started weight training when I was like 12 or 13 years old. And all my working years is about teaching people to find theirs. I've tried many disciplines, powerlifting, bodybuilding, um, high intensity cardiovascular programs, yeah, but there is no discipline that goes really deep and way beyond the internal health and the spiritual health than yoga. Yoga is just one of the many self-practice disciplines, but this is um, my practice. I'm sharing it with you. The type of strength that we gain from the practice of yoga, at least on the physical side, is something which is lighter, something which is more mobile and dynamic. But I truly believe that as a beginner, we need to build the awareness of the external muscularity of the body. And resistance training is a good way for us to develop that awareness. But as we age, as I mentioned, we do not want to wear out our joints, especially the spine and the hips. Yeah, because the spine, it loses its dynamism you know, as we age. So we have to take care of our spine as we age and not to put pressure too much on the discs of our spine. And then yoga practice, since you move the spine, the hips in many directions, twisting side to side, forward bending, backward bending, we keep the spine supple and alert and nourished. Because the spine is the pathway of the energy. Once the spine loses its dynamism, yeah, bit by bit, we lose the energy as well. And yoga is so helpful in keeping the health of our hips and the spine. Yeah. It's strengthening for the core because there are many yoga elements which we practice um, that we balance, for example, on one leg or arm, you know, and in the standing poses, looks like easy outside, but when you do them mindfully and with the breath awareness, there actually could be a challenging element as well. Thus, builds in a core strength. But a more meaningful benefit we could gain from the practice of yoga is its internal effect to our by the organs to our inner systems there are practices in yoga we call breath regulation exercises pranayam which target you know, the deeply hidden energetic channels in our bodies we call them nadis these nadis are the conductors of energy you know, when they're blocked because of the stresses the toxins the unhealthy lifestyle we do yeah you know, they clog the nadis you know. that's when they're clogged our vital organs are not supplied with the healthy flow of the prana, which comes from the breath. Yeah. And then breath regulation exercises are effective in irrigating the energetic system. So we dissolve and unclog you know, those pathways, leading to a healthy flow of the prana through our system. Let's promote the vital organs, the health of the vital organs, the heart, the lungs, and the circulation, and the rest of our um, inner systems. And no physical exercise you know, could go as deep as this than the breath regulation practices we do in yoga. Beyond that, uh, the meditation aspect of the practice yeah, if the calling is there, well, essentially it will lead there because as we age, we become more spiritual. It's very enriching for the spirit. Yoga is a self-practice, and as you 
face your own challenge, uh, your limitations, your weaknesses will manifest as well. You're not competing with anyone but you. All right. And in the process of rising above these challenges, you will discover your own hidden potentials too. Something which you never thought were there. So it's both humbling and both empowering. And this makes a uh, uh, spiritual side happy and content. Yeah. We become more attuned to our own nature, both as a physical being and a spiritual being. Because the, the energy, really, the energy that we build and harness and flow in the practice of yoga yeah, becomes a spiritual force later on. And this will manifest through our words, our actions, and even our thoughts. And there's nothing but beautiful coming from this energy. Thus, we go beyond our own welfare. Yeah, we promote the welfare of others too. Because what is in you, this divine force is present in all, everything that reads life. So yes, if you have the chance to learn and practice yoga, do it. Build it up. It could be the best decision you will ever make in your life. Till the next time. Namaste.